This clip I want to talk a little bit about the difference between high definition television and standard definition television for all of you that are uh, new to high definition television. Standard definition television is the term that we use to explain what we're used to, the old television, the analog television that's very square. That square is a 4 by 3 ratio, that's 4 units wide by 3 units tall. High definition is a little bit different, you know, it's a widescreen and that's called 16 by 9. It might be a term you've already heard. That's 16 units wide by 9 units high. Well, mathematically, it kind of works out the same. But where it, it differs between standard def and high def, and why high def is, is so much in demand right now, and why the picture is so much better, is because standard definition television, the old television, is only 480 lines of resolution. There are only 480 lines that we actually kind of see making up the image. Now that worked when we didn't have anything to compare it to. But now with high definition television, there are two standards that we look at, and that's 720 lines of resolution, that's 720 lines high, or 1080 lines of resolution, that's also termed uh, 1080. So we call those 720 and 1080. Uh, when you go to buy your high definition television, or if you've already bought one, I'm sure you've already come across this with the 720 and 1080 options on the market. We'll talk a little about those, a little bit about those in another chapter. Um, those are the main differences. If you watch an old uh, TV show on a high definition monitor, you may notice that it's actually a very square image inside your widescreen image. If you don't go into your TV menu and change it to uh, kind of zoom in to, to fill up the space, that's called pillar boxing. Pillar boxing are those black bars on the side. You may have gotten used to seeing letterboxing, the black bars on the top and bottom when you would watch a widescreen format movie in your old television. Well now we have to worry about watching older stuff on our newer sets that are widescreen and we end up with pillar boxing on the sides. Again that's just trying to show you the true aspect ratio of the original format in 4x3 on a 16x9 monitor. Now when you see a widescreen movie on, on your new HD TV, it's going to take up the entire thing. So let's get to the other titles and get a little more in depth of kind of how to connect up uh, you know, your different HD DVD or Blu-ray players into your new high def set or um, also the different kind of connection options, broadcast versus digital cable and different kinds of things like that.